Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Six minutes after 11 o'clock, Edna B. Turner, DeGenesti, is in the studio. She's the owner of Unique Lingerie. She is one of the uh, ladies who I remember interviewing a long, long time ago, and I don't always remember all of our guests, but I remember having fun with Edna, and uh, hopefully we'll have fun again today. I learned a lot about bras and things I never knew. <laughs> I never knew that that was uh, any information about bras at all, uh, <laughs> not being an expert on that subject at all. Uh, but Edna is in the studio again, and you look wonderful. Good morning, Edna. How are you doing? Good morning, and how are you? Pretty good. Oh. Unique lingerie. Been around for a while. How long? I'm in my sixth year. Sixth year. So when I met you, it was a brand new business for yes, you, wasn't it? Yes, it certainly was. Wow. And where was it at that time? Is at it... that time, it was at the uh, old ca uh, carriage trade. That's what I thought. Okay. In the very back of the store. That's and what I remember, yeah. It was uh, my beginning. I spent one year there, and uh, in 2009, I wound up at Heathbrook Mall. Is that where you are now? Heathbrook? Yes, Heathbrook. Okay. Brook. Okay. And... and and what the, what I remember about your last visit is that if you had a niche at all, it was the fact that you would take ladies. I pointed to Robin. Right yes, there. <laughs> always and, Robin. And, and, and fit them so because fitting was the key. Just going to the rack and getting the the bra you need was not the way to do it, right? Absolutely. W wasn't that not. it? Okay, that's correct. And, and is that true for all women, all shapes and sizes, or are there, are there some perfect Walmart there, women? There, there are quite a few people that can go to Walmart or to any of the department stores, and they're very fortunate that they can find a bra that fits them. And is are bras the primary item that you sell, or when you say lingerie, is it, do you have the sexy stuff? We like we carry a minimal amount of sexy. Uh, we do special orders on Sexy Sexy, uh -huh. and we uh, do carry a beautiful line of silk um, gowns that are known in the old days as pinois sets. You have a matching pinois. gown with a robe. You have the pajamas. We carry the satin, cotton, so from simple to sexy, from cotton to silk. All right. And, but are bras the biggest seller? and? Bras are a major part of the business and um, probably the primary part of the business, but we, uh, we go into a different uh, area, which is working with women that have had any type of breast surgery. That's right. I forgot that's part of what you do. It's a big yes. part, an important part it's of what you do. It's a very important part. Yeah, uh, yeah. We work with uh, women that have had implants or uh, if they've had reconstruction, uh, reduction of the yeah, breast, yeah. or if they've had a mastectomy, lumpectomy. We are board certified uh, fitters at the facility, and we are also uh, accredited. We have a accre full accreditation, which means that we're, we fall under the title of durable medical equipment. Okay, okay. And do you sell swimsuits as well? We sell swimsuits, and we have a full line of swimsuits for women that have had, um, that need to have a breast form placed into the swimsuit. Okay. Um, we have a phone call. Do you want to take calls? Or sure. Yes? Okay, you'll need your headphones to be oh, able to hear okay. the call. And uh, and we invite your calls. Uh, the number is the WOCA Climate Control Source Hotline, 622-9622. Good morning. You're on the air with Edna. Well, maybe not. Somebody changed their mind. They found mm -hmm. out they were going live, and they, they decided to change their <laughs> mind. <get> shy. <laughs> so, so, um, so let's get back on track with that. You, do you know when you were with us last time? My mom was still alive. Yes. Since since then, she passed away. But I, I wanted to tell you something. Uh, she had been a survivor of breast uh, a, bre a mastectomy. Mastectomy for maybe twenty. Yes. Years. I mean, she lived a long time after having been diagnosed with cancer. She was eighty six or something when she died i might 86. have i might have the age wrong but anyway so i'm going through her house sorting through things so that we can sell the house and i find these two very beautiful little boxes and in those beautiful boxes was the prosthetic breast mm -hmm. 
Yes. And it was like, whoa, this is, look at this. It was like creepy for me. You know, I, I shouldn't even be looking at my mom's prosthetic breast. But, but it was, uh, I, I never had seen one before and I didn't know what to do with it. Okay. Well, so I still have them. Well, they, uh, <laughs> you can absolutely donate them to That's the what American I wanted to know. Uh, okay. Cancer Society. They uh, provide ser uh, service for women uh, that, you know, don't have insurance. And you can go in and they will um, let them have, okay. have okay. breast form. So you can absolutely that I didn't donate know. See, them. And I never... Stupid me, never right. called anybody. And if you're, you know, if you're worried about that, you can call me and I'll pick them up because I do a you do it. year, I, usually once a year or once every two years. If I have forms, uh, I will uh, send them over to the American Cancer Society. Wow, wow. Well, as well as, you know, wigs and different things like that. And do you, you don't sell wigs, though? Yes, do you? we oh, you certainly do. do. Oh, you do? We carry a full line of uh, wigs, uh, several different companies. The main one is Raquel Welsh, which are the most beautiful wigs around. Really, yeah, really. You can have synthetic or human hair. You can have hair that is synthetic that you can curl with a curling, you know, with a hot hot, hot uh, rollers. rollers and curling irons and. You can make them straight. How do you, you have them curly. clean it? You, or do you, you wash them, and they do have their own uh, line of uh, shampoos and conditioners that oh, you okay. would take care of okay. your wigs. You, you have somebody listening in India right now? I sure do. And well, are they, Is it family? They are my children. Your actually, children? Actually, <laughs> not, not, not blood children, <laughs> but I had um, a wonderful opportunity to meet Mitu and Kushbu in India. I went to visit with them for a week. We had a great time. Oh, wow. And they're very instrumental in some of the other things that I have uh, taken on as far as business with uh, cancer. Oh, wow, wow. So, hello there, <laughs> my grandchildren. <laughs> I wish it was a way for them to like send a text message or something. I don't, I don't well, think they this, probably could. They probably could. Well, maybe on your phone. If yeah, they, if they got yeah. Uh, well, but anyway, it's good to see you. I mean, you look wonderful, and, and, and I'm so happy for you, and it sounds like the business is doing well. Well, it's um, I'm still there <laughs> six years. So are you visiting us today because you have something special to promote? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I wanted to... Uh, let everyone out there know that I have gone into a, another, my own line of 100% silk scarves. They are, um, they're very special you scarves. Oh, look it at took that. a lot for me to design and work with and get this done. And as I said, uh, Kushbu and Mitu are very instrumental in this happening. Uh -huh. But they, my scarves say, I can survive. And they have all of the beautiful different color cancer ribbons throughout the scarves, top and bottom, designed by Unique Lingerie. Oh, it took me a second to realize why yeah. can survive and was spelled that way. Yes. I, well, you see the I and then cancer. Right. And then bottom. Oh, I love that. So it is I can survive. That's top and bottom. And this is my roses scarf and you can use them as wraps wow that's beautiful you, can, you know over a swimsuit mm -hmm. but they are 100 percent silk and they're significant to what i am doing as far as unique lingerie is concerned because ten dollars of every scarf mm -hmm. is going to the ocala royal dames for cancer research oh, wow. wow so uh the first 50 scarves are really on sale at the wholesale price of fifty dollars ten dollars of that will go to the uh royal dames for cancer research and you designed that huh yes and i'm looking forward to possibly um trying to you know if the scarves take off more of the money is going to go to hospice Mm -hmm. Wow. And wow. I, hospice Wonderful. doesn't know that yet. Oh, they don't know. This <laughs> is, this is news. Well, they, they, they probably heard you just now. Yes, so. another percentage of the sale of the scarves will go to hospice. Wow. Well, good for you. Ocala. The, the colors are very vibrant, and that's one thing that a person needs to feel after they're diagnosed with cancer. They need to feel vibrant, like they're still alive. Yes, and the scarves actually have their own website. 
And their oh, website really? is, can I say it? Yeah. www.icenceriveve. Dot, I'm sorry, scarf, S-C-A-R-F, okay. dot com. Well, I'm gonna, Excellent. I'm going to go to it right now. Uh, we have to take a little break, go do the weather, and then we'll be right back uh, with Edna B. Turner D. Genesti. If you have a question for Edna, uh, this is a great time to call. The number is 352-622-9622. And if you're in India, you can call, too. I think it well, may be a long distance call. 352 <laughs> uh, Edna is here from Unique Lingerie. We'll take a tiny break uh, for the weather and be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. It'll be partly sunny today, but watch out for a shower or thunderstorm during the afternoon and evening hours, high 90 to 94. And partly cloudy tonight, though 74 to 78. For tomorrow, times of clouds and sun with a shower or thunderstorm around, high 88 to 92. Wednesday, intervals of clouds and sun, still a couple of showers and a thunderstorm likely to high 89 to 93. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Thank you, Joe. 17 minutes after 11 o'clock. Let's return now to Edna B. Turner de Genesti from Unique Lingerie. Uh, just a delight to speak to, and uh, it's been six years since we had her in the studio. And I just went to the website, I can survive scarf.com, and can survive is spelled like I can, sir. V-I-V-E. V-I-V, isn't that like Latin for live or something? Yes, yeah, it says viv, viv, they can go V-I-V is Latin for live, and vive is Latin is also. For, so you can do the viv or the V-E, V-I-V. Yeah, yeah. So I can survive scarf.com, and then you've got this very colorful website. So some of these other designs I'm looking at are also on the scarves? Yes, the uh, all of those, uh, sc- everything that you see on the website, there are five different scarves. Uh-huh. And eventually each one, um, one will go away um, and it'll go to the rest home. Okay. And then okay. another one will be created. Oh, okay. So, okay. Okay. Um, you wanted to make a special announcement, or, or did we do that already with the no, scarves? No, the scarves, that is the special announcement. <laughs> okay. But I, I actually got a text, and I, um, I have to say, good morning, Sandra Brown, my manager at Unique Lingerie, and my <laughs> sister-in-law who are listening, Brow Leah, and my two puppies, my two little schnauzers that... If you like puppies, come to Unique Lingerie because we have two little schnauzers that spend the day and they work with us every day. They're being trained as service dogs. Oh, really? And eventually we'll go to hospitals and different um, venues. And um, puppies and dogs are welcome at Unique Lingerie as well as children and husbands. So (laughs) (laughs) we have a lot of fun when we come there. So are you, are you, do you think the Unique Lingerie is, a, is one of Ocal's best kept secrets? Like when women find out about your store, do they say, wow, how long have you been here? And, and you're, you're surprised that they don't know? Absolutely. I, and, and it just baffles me because I do advertise in the local magazines yeah, and in, yeah. the, you know, in some of the local newspapers. And, of course, I've been on your show now three times. And um, so, yes, I'm very surprised. And then the second thing is I'm right next door to DSW Shoes. Mm-hmm. And the women just, you know, they, they float by. And then <laughs> eventually when they do get into the store, they say, well, how long have you been here? I didn't know that you were here. <laughs> so, but we do have a customer base of close to 8,000 clients that mm-hmm. I have serviced over the six years that I've been in business. When a woman comes in to have herself fit for a bra, and if she hasn't had a uh, breast removed, how do you keep her from being so shy? Because that's something that a woman is pretty shy about. Well, uh, that sometimes it is a little bit of a problem, but by the Mm -hmm. time I can get them in that dressing room and they realize that... They're going to have to try this bra on because I don't let my bras go into the dressing room unaccompanied. Uh-huh. They, uh, someone must take the people into the dressing room. 
Um, uh, people have a tendency to put bras on, they fasten them in the front, and then they swing them around to the back, which is I do rubbing that. I'm their oils. Of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's good when you once you own the bra, you can uh -huh. do anything you want. But by it being in the store, you may not be the f only person that's going to have an opportunity to try that bra on. So I would really like for um, assistance if I once you become a customer and right. you know how because I train people I teach people how to put their bras on how to get their breast up into the cup so that they're not spilling out mm -hmm. but they won't spill out of any bra that I put them in and um, you know they there is a comfort zone and the fear goes away uh, I do believe and any of my customers that are listening you might want to vouch for me on that, but the fear does go away, and by the time you leave Unique Lingerie, right. we're actually bosom buddies. And <laughs> so, sometimes one side is a different size than the other, so you're able to compensate for that too? Yes, and that's a, that's a subject that I would like to talk about today just very briefly. Yeah. Uh, most women, when and I shouldn't say most, but I just want to let all of you ladies know that you do not have equal size breasts. No one does. If you do, I mean, even uh, when they come in with, with reconstruction or with um, implants, one side is gonna be slightly larger than the other. And in a lot of cases, and this is, uh, this is known, that there is something called Poland syndrome okay the Poland syndrome it's a congenital um, condition usually at birth and you don't know about it until you start developing the breasts start huh. developing and it's very prominent in men also so um, I just want all of you women to know that if you have a breast that's just slightly smaller than the other, you don't even really have to worry about it because you're mm -hmm. going to be able to make adjustments with the bra that you're going to wear. Mm -hmm. But if there's a significant difference in the size, and you know some people are surprised when I bring it to their attention that I have to make sure that the side that's the larger breast is fitting that bra properly. Um, if, it, if there is such a difference, I may want to recommend that that person go into a prosthesis, which would be a silicone balance. Um, so like a little filler. Yes, it's just okay. it's, it's okay. a balancer, and they come in sizes. So... It, and they come in sizes and in thickness. And is it permanently attached? Or no, no, no. It goes so into like the a, bra. You, you, you just slip like it Like an insert in your, in your shoe. I'm sorry? Like an insert you would put yes, in your shoe. Yes, like an insert. Okay. It would be just like an insert. And are they custom made? Well, they can be custom made, but okay. not necessarily. They are made by the uh, mastectomy um, companies that provide you know, oh, wow. the silicone breast mm -hmm. forms. But yeah, they they do come in sizes, and as I said, they come in thicknesses and yeah. so forth. And it's, so it's, on. It sounds like I mean, just from you know, off the top of my head, I'm sure you've thought of this a hundred million times. That there are people who never would know about this except for hearing about it maybe on a radio show or something. So I'm right. encouraging anybody, if you know a lady who might really benefit from this, this whole thing with Edna is being recorded. Mm -hmm. on, it'll be on YouTube. It'll be on the WOCA Facebook page. Edna will probably share it. And and then you share it too, the listeners. Oh, I, I just want you to make sure that if, hey, if there's somebody out there who's going to be more comfortable, what is the biggest mistake ladies make? They buy too small or too big? Uh, they're buying their band sizes too big just so that they can get a cup size. Okay, so in other words, if the, the bigger the band is, the bigger the cup becomes, regardless of what cup size you oh, get. really? So if you get a 38 double D, and, you, and then when, by the time you come to me and I measure you and I tell you, well, I'm sorry, you're not a 38 double D, you're a 34 G or an H. 
So they're buying a 38 double D so that they can cover the breast. Okay. But the band is really too big. And so they're uncomfortable. And, and they're uncomfortable. And that's why they're pulling them down and trying to get them, you know, in place or the breasts are dropping out of the bottom of the bra or they're spilling out of the top. Right. right. Uh, the bands are cutting into them. The shoulder straps are digging into their shoulders, uh, actually causing a lot of severe damage, uh, indentations in the shoulders. The, uh, the muscle uh, moves up into the neck, and a lot of times, the, you know, once the damage is done, it's probably irreversible. What damage? The damage of what's to the, happening to, the to neck? their neck, oh, and wow. Their, wow. to their back and their shoulders. And it's um, something that needs to be addressed. Do you know what I always wonder about? It? You know the ladies at the Oktoberfest? <laughs> are they wearing a different kind of a bra? Because it's a different look. Well, <laughs> they're wearing bustiers. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yes, they're wearing they're wearing a, a tight-fitted bustier with bones in it that with bones. Yeah, in it. that push. Are you? I mean, are we on the same page? Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. Yeah, yeah. Dress up in these right, dresses right, and where everything. You, well, they're wearing. A where your eyes aren't supposed actually, to go. Right. They're actually wearing a corset. So the corset is pulling everything in. There's usually a drawstring in oh, the average. Corset. She's not comfortable, is she? Oh, they're, they're, they may, you know, they it's really? okay. party animal time. What <laughs> can I tell you? So that when I go through the next October first, can I say, hey, you got bones in your bra? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, bones in, <laughs> bone, bones in their ribs. <laughs> yeah, and that pushes, you know, that gives them that full bubble ah. lift at okay. the top. Uh, that's one of the most wonderful things you do, Edna, is that you make a woman feel like a woman and that you have to have that feminine side. Absolutely. And I'm, I mean, we, we work with all, with everyone. I have men that come in that have issues with their backs and, you know, they need girdles and they, you know, they just don't have anybody to help them. And mm -hmm. so really? I get phone calls from all over the United States really? Wonderful. from uh, men that have back issues and they wear they 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 wear a particular girdle called a rego and mm -hmm. um they they call me to ask me about changing their sizes and different things like that huh. and you know so i work with men as well as women so uh i have a product in our store called squeam and it's an excellent waist um controller uh, a lot of women are coming to me now because they've discovered that I have this squeam uh -huh. and I fit them and they're actually reducing their waistlines. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, they're going from waistlines of a 32 down to a 28 or a 26 waist. That's wonderful. So, wow, you just got a lot of people showing oh, up now. Oh, well, I want them to come. <laughs> yeah. Now they're going to show up. I welcome you to come in, have a fitting, see what the squeam does for you. It does come. But I also have men that wear the squeam. They work in the hospitals or oh, wow. in the um, uh, working with seniors. And I hope That's we wonderful. got everything out because we're almost out of time. Oh, my gosh. But I want the listeners to know how to find you. You're at Unique Lingerie. And what's the address? It's 4414. Southwest College Road, Suite 1930. And your phone number? 352-629-5590. And Robin has the information on our guest list for today. You'll find Edna's name and phone number and address. And go online and check out the video we just made and share it with somebody. You'll make some lady out there more comfortable. Edna, thank you. Good to see you again. All right. Thank you. You, you look great. We'll take a little okay. break. Be right back. News Radio, I'm Pam Puso. Israelis and Palestinians have a responsibility to stop the fighting now. Another call for an immediate ceasefire from the UN's.